So this last weekend I had the privilege of going to one of Aaron Brugge's classes on functional marksmanship. The class was awesome. Um, I had a fantastic time. Aaron and the guys are always cool just to hang around because they're cool down to earth guys. They don't take themselves too seriously. Good sense of humor. Overall, the course was awesome. He spent considerable time reanalyzing a lot of the myths. Not so much myths, but kind of the reasonings for doing things the way we've done them in the military for a long time in terms of, you know, why you never move backwards, why you never run backwards on a battlefield, you know. Yeah, because the reality is you could trip over something with all our gear and, and close like we are. It's not a smart thing, but like the other reality is you might be forced to move backwards in a real life situation and when you're watching dash dash cam or body cam shootouts you know it's still a 3d battlefield and so even though there's things that we don't want to do we got to be good at doing really all things so as many things as be good at doing as many things as you can so your toolbox is is full you know when the time comes because you really don't know what skill set you're gonna need we broke some boundaries we worked on some skill sets that are uh things that are taboos in the industry and taboos in the military and, and most of the places where we've got the bulk of our training um i thought it was fantastic so your first shot was at 303 because you didn't go for the gun until you stopped over here. i want you to go left or right now simultaneously draw while you move me personally i was just kind of having a discussion with some friends and thinking about how you know in a life-threatening situation depending on what's going on movement really truly is life and you know if you're trying not to get hit shot stabbed movement truly is life and so there's so much to be said for athleticism can you move your body how efficiently can you do different things when you move your body how efficiently can you fire on the move can you get into a good firing stance how quickly can you do that and become accurate you know um and all of these things are things that we covered in that class so i really appreciated it it was more than just uh just shooting at some targets and you know we did do a qual at the beginning an assessment at the beginning with his you know his uh assessment system that he's come up with on his targets which was real cool real good that was a whole nother ride man that that, that deserves a whole nother article uh in and of itself and really what he said those are designed to do is help you to uh, be able to really comprehend data that you're shooting at um more quickly and accurately which is huge you know um with me in the competitive world a lot of you know what i'm thinking about and i only compete so that i can be uh, more efficient at my job i can I, I i'm a i'm a warrior you know i'm a classical warrior so any combative sports i want to get involved in so that's why i competitively shoot i'm not a gamer that's why you'll see me lean back behind cover and reload um you know and i'll always do that uh, at this point, that's what my mind says. But nonetheless, um, at his course, we took that assessment to begin the class. And then we moved into moving and shooting. Gradually, we moved into it. And then by the end of the day, we were full on sprinting, uh, basically doing shuttle runs and shooting and firing. And it was fantastic. We ran some competitions. The competition was real good. Towards the very end, you know, um, we did a final kind of competition with ourselves to see if we could beat the part times. And um, I can tell you this, it was much harder than it looked. And it pushed both agility, athleticism, and marksmanship uh, to a level that I haven't had to really push those three things to in a very long time. And for that, man, I really appreciated the course. I really appreciate it for that. And I totally, you know, this is my second course I've taken from Aaron and uh, Gorilla Approach and all the guys there. And I am really looking forward to taking another one because I'd say the major difference 
that I've seen with Aaron, and I haven't been to a lot of courses at this point, but that I've seen with Aaron versus the stuff at least I got in the military, or, or I've seen or heard other instructors talk about, is that he really does his best to make his training as functional as possible and as uh, realistic as possible, but like, you know, not just in keeping with the dogmatic traditions that uh, may exist in um, the training information out there. And I just say information because, like I said, you know, I haven't taken a lot of courses from a lot of folks, and, um, you know, my background is still pretty basic. You know, I was just an L3 uh, in the U.S. Marine Corps Infantry, and beyond that, I haven't just, I haven't had a lot of follow-on training, but um, I've really appreciated it. And, and so I'm not criticizing anyone specifically or any outfit specifically, you know what I'm saying? But uh, I am really enjoying seeing the evolution of gunfighting since I've been out over the last 10 years. Um, I'm really appreciating seeing the growth and I really believe that Aaron and Gorilla Approach are catching that wave, hopping in that flow, hopping in uh, the current of growth and evolution within uh, the training that's out there in the firearm community. So, you know, I'm looking forward to learning more trash from these guys downrange, and I hope to be able to come to, you know, whoever else has some solid courses and uh, is willing to bring them up to Southern California. Um, so, yeah, guys, that's what I got for you on this one. Awesome course, awesome movement. Um, I definitely recommend it. Make sure you get your electrolytes in before. It's not a haze fest, but hey, you're going to move. You're going to get your heart rate up, and you're going to get after it. All right, y'all. I'll see you on the next video. Out. Ah. <laughs> Thanks. Awesome drill, man.